Hi, I'm Jorge Antonio Vallejos, and you're watching BlackCoffeePoet.com and the Black Coffee Poet YouTube channel. This vlog is a follow-up to an article that I wrote called Freaky Flow, which is the last post before this one. Um, so this is my website, BlackCoffeePoet.com, and you're watching the Black Coffee Poet YouTube channel. They work in conjunction with each other. Anyways, so um, what I wrote about was how I started writing poetry to jungle music, in particular, a tape called Volume 4 by Freaky Flow, and you're listening to it right now. It's in the background. I don't have it up too high because it'll drown me out. Anyways, I used to just sit on my bed, listen to jungle music, it's electronic music, and I used to just like write poems or write in my head. This is years ago. Anyways, that little journey of how I got into jungle music is what Freaky Flow is about. But what I thought I'd do with this vlog is talk about the writing exercises, well, some of the writing exercises that I do to music, in particular, jungle music or trans, mu trans music or whatever other kind of music. So um, I learned a writing exercise called free writing or free flow writing from this book here, Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. And as you can see, it's a poor man's version. I uh, bought this when I was a student, um, so it's tiny. And I actually still carry it in my winter jacket. So all winter, I've got this book here in the lapel of my winter jacket. And I, it goes with me everywhere. So when I'm on the subway, I read it. If I'm at a coffee shop, I read it. Um, and I take exercises out of this and I do them. Um, so what happens is basically you sit down and you set a time limit, it could be five minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, however long you want, and you go, you just write. You don't edit, you don't stop, you don't think, oh, this word is better, or oh my God, this sounds like shit, or even, if, oh, this sounds amazing, I'm gonna stop and read it, no, you go. Whatever time limit you set, you write for. You sit down, you put pen to pad, or fingers to keyboard, whatever it may be, and you write. And you don't stop until your time is done. Some people use a clock, a timer, some people set their watch, maybe you can do that on a laptop, I don't know. Anyways, but you just go. Anyways, so um, I mixed that with an exercise that I learned from um, dog rib writer Richard Van Camp, who wrote this book, uh, The Moon of Letting Go, um, in terms of writing to music. Um, like formally learned it, like I was already doing it. Um, but uh, um, what Richard did what he, was he, uh, I did a workshop with him years ago, and um, he made us listen to a song from a soundtrack from a very well known movie. I forgot what it's called. Um, Billy Ray Cyrus is in it, and it was one of those controversial movies that had like a crazy sex scene. Anyways, and uh, just an amazing song with the violin. And it sounded like really good and it brought emotion out of you. It was like highs and lows and stuff like that. So writing to an instrumental song. And I was already used to doing that from, I am keep pointing over there because my stereo is over there, uh, from listening to Jungle, as you can hear right now. Anyways, and so um, I, was, I was used to doing that, so I liked that exercise. So you, you mix the free flow writing, but to music. You can do free flow writing without anything. You can just be, you know, on a bridge, in a park bench, at a coffee shop, on your bed, wherever you may be, and do this exercise. But sometimes it's good to write to music. So um, I got the tip from Richard Van Camp that soundtracks have a lot of really good, movie soundtracks have a, a lot of really good um, songs that are instrumental. All those kind of cool songs you hear during action scenes or love making scenes or whatever it may be. Usually in, the, in, a, in a film, usually the film soundtrack will have that cool anyways so um yeah but um a another exercise that's really good and again it's free flow um but it's got um kind of like a, a point in a way is and i learned that from um marilyn dumont marilyn dumont wrote these uh three books um a really good brown girl and then she wrote green girl dreams mountains and then her latest book the tongued belonging um, uh, Marilyn Dumont is Cree Métis, um, Aboriginal writer from the land now known as Canada, as is uh, Richard Van Camp, he's dog rib, like I said, from the Northwest Territories. And uh, actually, Marilyn Dumont was my first writing teacher. Um, beautiful woman, gave a free course, you know, uh, the first two weeks there was like six, seven people, the last four weeks was just me and her. And I remember doing an exercise with her, again, to music. But this time it was to a music, uh, a song that had lyrics. So all you do is listen to the song. 
you stay, you listen, you keep quiet, and then you write for 15 minutes whatever came to you from that song, the impression um, that came to you, or whatever thoughts you have of that song, you write. And that was a really good exercise. And so it's not necessarily that you're going to write um, a poem on the spot. You can. Usually what I do is I write prose. Like I kind of do journal entries, to be honest, to music um, or, 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 or prose chunks. Uh, sometimes poetry, as I did with the Freaky Flow when I used to write to this tape a lot. Um, but uh, poems come out of your journal entries. Poems come out of prose chunks or there's prose poems, you know what I mean? So these are just some writing exercises I've learned along the way. Uh, Marilyn Dumont um, is an amazing person. I really hope you read her books. She is my first writing teacher. Um, taught me for free. Amazing. And uh, yeah, she introduced me. Yeah, she's actually the one who introduced me to these uh, writing exercises to music. Sorry, Richard Van Camp came later. Um, but, you know, I, I learned a lot of cool things from both of them. So yeah, thank you for joining me um, on Black Coffee poet.com again uh, check out the previous article um, which is uh, freaky flow and you'll find out how I got into jungle music and started writing poems to jungle music and uh, try these exercises out you know and I do recommend you do get writing down the bones um, freeing the writer within from Natalie Goldberg and again please check out Marilyn Dumont's books and Richard Van Kemp's collection of short stories as well he has a really good novel called the lesser blessed i actually can't wait till he comes out with something new because i really like his writing style so thank you very much for joining us please subscribe to blackcoffeepoet.com and the black coffee poet youtube channel both free and share this video and do the exercises and let me know how you did with these exercises if they worked for you or share some exercises with me all right thanks a lot peace out keep reading keep writing